Hello, my name is Bernard Weisgerber. I would like to share with you this rare footage of logging and log hewing in northern Wisconsin in the 1920s. I found this film through an elderly retired logger. What you are looking at now is white water and a canoe trip on an unknown river in northern Wisconsin. These pictures may have been taken on the way into the logging show or the logging site. The machines or autos shown help establish the film date to the 1920s. The fact that the last stand of virgin white pine in northern Wisconsin was cut during the 1920s also dates the film. Felling procedure. First check for direction of fall. Removing the bark from the butt swell. Then, chopping the directional front notch. Cross cut sawing the back cut to the hinge wood and timber. Coffee and bean time afterwards. This process is called barking. The bark and ice is being removed by means of a scraper and a felling axe in order to facilitate the placement of a chalk line for the upcoming broad axe hewing. Layout. The chalk line strung and snapped on the same plane as the hewing will take place. Next, scoring to the line with the pole axe. Hewing with the broad axe. Notice the stagged pant leg on the axeman. The pants are stagged when working in the woods to prevent stumbling by stepping over a ground stub sticking up. Barking again for chalk line placement. Chalk line and scoring again in doubles. This process is called juggling, splitting off the pieces between the scoring cuts. Juggling is followed by hewing with the broad axe. Notice the short handle on the broad axe. The handle usually runs anywhere from 20 to 24 inches in length with an offset in the handle. Here you can see that without an offset handle, the hewer would bark his knuckles. Another view of scoring. A close up of the broad axe and the hewing process. Scoring to the line. Cat skidding. Log skidding was done early with crawlers or cat tractors. The cants or hewn squared timbers are being skidded out of the woods. Choker setting or hooking up the chains to the cants to be skidded. The cants are being loaded on a sled. A load of logs is known as a turn or one full load of logs. Horse skidding out of the woods. Team skidding. 
and another turn of logs. A timber cruiser estimating the board foot volume of the stumpage or standing trees. Obviously, virgin growth white pine. Once the turns are skidded to the railhead, they are loaded onto the flatbed rail cars and held in place with wooden standards. For the next few scenes, we will observe the loading process onto the rail cars and also observe a train load of white pine cans. This portion of the film must have been made from a moving vehicle. The logs were hewn in the woods to facilitate the loading and hauling by rail. It's much easier to load, bind or secure, and haul squared timber than if the tree had been left in the round with the bark on. This is a great volume of virgin growth white pine. Thank you for sharing this early film on logging and log hewing with me.